Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21 Experimental. We are now on build 323. You guys maybe are watching this today in late July and wondering, but, oh, gee, that happened almost a month ago. Yes, it did. I am actually that far ahead of you guys. Um, and, you know, it's, it's kind of pointless for me to say this now because you won't see it until a month later, but my plan is that when Stable comes out, I will end the experimental series, but I will still show all of the episodes all the way till they end. And then I'll start a new series uh, when stable comes out. But again, of course, you know, I, <laughs> you guys won't know that till a month later. Uh, but yeah, so I, I read the, through the patch notes, there's nothing super different that stands out to me. They changed the speed of, you know, some of the vehicles, they adjusted heat maps and that sort of thing. Um, they did, they still recommend that you start a new save, but they did say that this build will not break the save like the last one did. And that does appear to be the case. I still have all of my, my perks and everything. Um, and all of my, well, actually, you know what? I didn't look at the magazines, but yeah, we still have all of these magazines here and all of these red magazines here. So, um, we're just going to keep going. And I, my plan is to keep going on experimental until stable actually comes out. Then I'll stop the series and then I'll start a whole new series uh, at the time that stable comes out. But I'll keep this series running until, you know, the last video is released, um, which will be uh, again. It, I'm already about a month ahead of you guys. Today is uh, July or no, sorry. Today's June 28th. And I think this video is going to come out on like July 28th or <laughs> something like that. So. OK, so today uh, it is Horde Night Day. Um, we're going to go do a little bit of work on the Horde base before we go out and do a job. Um, we don't have a lot to do, but, uh, yeah, we're going to do that just so it's out of the way and we don't have to worry about it later. And we also have three points to spend. So here's what we're going to do with the points. I am going to put one point into demolitions expert because, you know, we're using our, our bomb pipe bombs and, and, and whatnot a lot. I'm going to put one point into daring adventurer, uh, which is going to give us a little bit better stuff at the trader. Um, and let's see, for the third point, trying to think what I want to do with that third point. I'm kind of thinking minor 69er would be a good one, but we also could, uh, we could go with penetrator, which I really like, or we could go with maybe lucky looter or salvage operations. Um, this gives us a 5% Adds 5% to loot bonus for containers that you open personally. And looting is 10% faster. So, I mean, that's not bad. Um, Or we could do Penetrator. So this will basically ignore 10% uh, of armor with firearms and archery and 20% on anything with target armor reduction. <clears throat> um, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I think it means 20% just across the board. Unless you're using a firearm or an archery, I'm, I'm still I, <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure what that actually means. To be honest with you, uh, quick and perceptive wouldn't be bad. Salvage ops wouldn't be bad either. Um, I just you know the thing is is I, I I have no problem getting all the salvage I need. If I need salvage, I just go out and, and spend a little bit of time off camera wrenching cars. You know, so I mean this is nice to have, but I don't know. I think what it will do is let's go ahead and put a point into Lucky Looter. There we go. It's decided. Okay, cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab um, some concrete out of here. And I'm going to grab those cobblestone blocks as well. And I think we may have some of that stuff already up at the base. But I'm going to grab some, you know, take some more stuff up there anyways, just in case. Up at the horde base. I made a few more pipe bombs here too. And why don't we take... Um, a big batch of ammo up there. So let's grab um, some 762s. We'll grab a few more of the of the 9 mils. All the rest of the pipe bombs, all of the uh, Molotovs that we currently have, and another stack of shotgun shells. And that, that should be... Man, oh, man, it's 620 in the morning, and look how dark it is out here. Crazy. Um, yeah, so let's go over to the horde base. Do I have my hammer with me? I don't. I should probably grab our, our good tools for because we're going to do, you know, some construction. Do I have anything in here to sell? I do. I have these things to sell, but we'll worry about that later. 
So, yeah, let's just grab all of these. And uh, I'll meet you guys uh, over at the Horde base. I think I've repaired everything down here, but let's just double check it. I'm pretty sure that I did. You know, one thing we have to be careful of, too, is we can never take um, a job at this cathedral. Because, uh, yeah, that would, not, uh, that would not go so well. But we could go in there and just do a random loot of the place. Oh, I guess that's, um, that's stone. That's not, um, wood. Okay, yeah, so it looks like I definitely did, um, repair everything down here. Uh, why don't we... Why don't we just kind of shore things up down here, since this is right below where we're standing. I don't think the Zombo's uh, super concentrated on it, but we'll just uh, at least, you know, do a, do a little bit on it so it's not in too bad a shape. But, I mean, I'm not really worried about it, though, either. It's, uh, it's not in that bad a shape, but we'll touch it up a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. That should do the trick. Yeah, I do actually have um, some stuff up here, too. So, okay, let's put some of this in here. I want to keep we'll keep a stack of concrete and some cobble with us. All of this extra ammo we'll put in here. That's our normal ammo. Okay, that should be good. All right, let's go down below here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to block this off. So when the zombies fall down from there, they can't get back behind here. And then they get stuck back here, and then they start banging on stuff. So, um, I think... Oh, that's wood. What the heck? Is that a... Just a, a spider that was down below? Yeah, he's coming up the stairs. He did. We did put a point in the handguns, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Just checking. All right. Anyway, yeah, let's go back down. Whoa, down here. Don't, uh, don't get too crazy there, OG. Okay, so, um, where, yeah, grab these. It's possible that they could fall further, uh, or on the other side of that still, so we might go up a little higher. Yeah, we'll go, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll go all the way up to there. And I need to make some more cobblestone blocks. Um, let's make 13, because I'd like to keep 10 on me. Uh, you know what, though? They still could potentially... I guess I didn't... Repair that. I'm going to go up to here. <coughs> okay. 
Yeah, that'll work. Let's upgrade this too. Can we put, uh, do we need to put that there? Yeah. Because they could stand up on here and then maybe jump over that way, I guess. It's not likely, but there it's possible. Okay. So we'll add a few more on this side as well. Okay. So that should do a better job, I would think anyways, of preventing them from going over that direction. Um, I don't think they would ever try and jump to that ladder. I don't imagine why they would. So we'll try that. And uh, if they're still, if they still seem to be getting over on the other side, you know, like from maybe coming up from the other direction or something, we'll, we'll figure out something else on the, for the next horde night. But I think for now uh, we're in pretty good shape. Just touch that stuff up. This is all repaired and in good condition. Um, I'm going to try and keep this at concrete for, for one more horde night. But I think when we get to 42, we're probably going to want this to be get upgraded to, um, to steel. Wanted to uh, go out here and repair those railings. Not that's that big a deal, but we'll do it anyway. They're not really that strong anyway. Okay, cool. So I think we're ready, guys, for Horde 935 when it comes. So let's just go back up here and... Make sure, whoops, put that in there, the sand. We do need to bring some, uh, a few, a little bit more medical and medicine types of items with us before, you know, the Horde Night actually starts. <clears throat> but I think otherwise uh, we're in good shape for repair materials and ammo for sure. In fact, let's just leave our, our hammer here too for the time being <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> all right so let's see it is um it's almost 9 a.m where is our next tier four? Oh, it's like it's like right there so okay yeah let's do that let's do that you know what actually i'm gonna do though I'm going to go back to the base and grab, <coughs> man, <coughs> sorry, apologize, man. I got freaking frog in my throat tonight. Um, I'm going to grab all the other stuff that I need for the Horde Knight, the medicine and, and whatnot. So, <coughs> so we have it and then I, and then we can completely relax and loot for the rest of the day and not have to worry about it. So I'll meet you guys over at the quest location here in just a little bit. All right, here we are at uh, the downtown apartments. This is an infested clear. Got a little bit of stuttering going on. Uh, let's just take a quick look, see at some fast double looting. <laughs> Off with your head, darling. Oh, Ronnie McDonald. Oh, we got a wandering horde. Look at that, we got a double. A little warm up for Horde Night, I guess. Oh, we got someone over here, too. He tagged us. Okay, I think that's it. Let's switch to our shovel here for the cement. I don't actually need that oil shale. Check this. 
Nice. Actually, we'll take all of that, I suppose. And I want... Actually, here. Let me use this. For that... Probably just use the shovel on the paper. We got 25 paper out of those. That's good. All right, we won't we won't double loot on the inside. Just see if there's anything out back here. Door's locked. Somebody over here. Nice. Take it. That door's locked as well. Let's go actually check these while we're here. Just paper. Oh, you know, I was talking, I don't know, a couple episodes ago about how I haven't found any tool parts like steel tool parts, but I got to thinking I, I haven't done a hardware store, not even once in this series. So maybe we, if we, you know, if we don't get one in a quest fairly soon, we just go, um, we'll just go randomly hit some hardware stores because we have some in town and uh, that should, I mean, theoretically anyway, should increase our chances of finding um, that sort of thing. So uh, okay, so I guess I don't see anything down there. All right, let's drop some stuff off here. Don't care about that. These we can just turn into uh, scrap. Don't need the nitrate. That is using recipes. This we. We're not really thirsty, so I guess we'll hang on to those for now. We're almost certainly going to come across more of that. We don't need the stone. And, you know, honestly... Well, here. Let's at least scrap those as opposed to throwing them away. And uh, that should get us off to a good start. Okay, here we go. So this came back. Whoop. Okay, check the trash again. Harvest the paper again. And the cement. Let's see if we get another Forge Ahead book. Look at that. Take that. Don't care about the stone. We'll run back real quick and check the dumpsters again. Or the dumpster. I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> Look at the stone sitting on top of there. And uh, now nah, we're not going to harvest that. Okay. Let's open this back up again and just put that stuff in there. Toss the nitrate. And we're ready to go. We get a cop right off the bat. Oh, and a greeny too. Nice. Oh, no lock in that door. Or blocking, rather. Oh! Green Arlene, man. Arlene the green. Alright, so... Ah, we got a double. Whoa. Off with your head, Koparuski. Nice. Thanks, Crawler. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. We can uh, we can definitely make some dineros off of that. Uh, we are infected. No surprise there. And we have an abrasion. Very good. All right, we are very unlikely to find another one of these or another one of those. So we'll put those in the bike for now. 
Um, okay, let's go. So, presumably we've cleared this first level anyway. Or first, yeah, lower floor. That's all that's in there. Nice. I uh, don't care about these, but I'll definitely take pistol parts. There's a box here. Take that and that. Don't care about the lead. Uh, nope. I think we'll leave all that behind. Yeah, we'll take all that. Nope. Yeah, sure. Black strap, Grandpa's moonshine. Yeah, okay, no, we don't need any of that stuff. And then we also got everybody's attention in here. Wooden bow quality five. Nice. So that's the that's the top uh, level bow that we ourselves can craft. Wooden bow, <coughs> and it's almost certainly going to be superior to our yellow compound bow. Another vehicle book. Nice. But we might just keep keep on keeping on until. You know, hopefully, sooner or later, we'll probably loot a nicer compound bow or just keep getting magazines until we eventually get to the point where, you know, we can make a blue compound bow. So I think I'm going to hold off and just hang on to my bow parts for now. All right, so there's still another side to this place. So let's go in here. I need to start being careful again. Okay. Check the toity. Okay, that's all we can get out of there. And, uh, yeah, I guess we go up at this point. We already looked in there, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Next floor. Okay, I see red dot there and two red dots there. Let's deal with the one in this room first. I don't see them. Okay, that takes care of all the red dots in this room. Nice. Oh, you know what? I actually found another pair of ski goggles, too. In fact, I was going to tell you guys, um, after I left you in the next, uh, or the last episode, I went all the way up to this new trader, Jen, and uh, looted her place. I didn't get anything camera worthy. I mean, it was all decent stuff, but nothing like, oh my gosh, I got to show the peeps that I got that kind of thing. Um, and as part of that process, I, I, I believe we did find some agility goggles. And then this is just kind of like a little town here that I rode around in, but it was starting to get dark, so I didn't stick around there I did, uh, any longer than just kind of looking around a bit. So, yeah, we have now uncovered that Trader Gin. And, of course, I did check her inventory. She didn't have anything phantasmagorical for us. No, don't care about that stuff. We might as well take the paper since we're collecting paper. All right, now, let's go over to this side. We got another green Arlene and a cop. Normal cop, though. So, why don't we take out the normal cop first? Just checking that I, everything's loaded here. And then we can focus fire Arlene. Alright, 
she did. Check the toolbox. More cement. Um, we got some kind of box here. Construction site. All right, we'll take that. A little trash up here. Uh, we'll take those two things. Oh, look at that. We got another. We got a bow in there. Here, let me actually take a peek. All right, I don't see any more zombos. And for whatever reason, his red dot's not showing up for us. Why do I hear zombies over that way? Well, that's a lot of Zeeks, you guys. Oh, shit. Feral. Get out of here. Nope. All right. Whew. Okay. That was mildly intense. But we got that. We got that. We got it. How much wood do we get out of this thing? 20 pieces? Hmm. What about this? 20 pieces? All right. Nothing to write home to mother about, but it's okay, I suppose. Okay, so now the next question is, well, is this door open? It is. Do we go this way, or do we go up the stairs? Can we go up the stairs? Maybe it's blocked. Let's see. No, it's definitely not blocked. Okay, not seeing any red dots, but that doesn't mean anything. Could be too that uh, some that one, at least that one feral that came at us from the other room. Um, came from here. Uh, I guess we'll pick up cloth. I don't know why, but... Yeah, that doesn't really go anywhere there. We do have a light in this room, though. Are we supposed to... No, we're not supposed to go that way. I don't know why we would go out this way. So why is there a light in here? Maybe it's just there for decoration. Usually the lights mean this is where you need to go. Okay, also nobody in here. We'll take that for selling. Uh, these have better cold resist, but not as good of heat resist. So we're going to scrap them. Okay, we have some shoes down here we can loot. We can, whoops, sorry. Let's sell those when the time comes. And I guess that's it for over on this side. I'm going to run back down to the bike real quick and just offload a few more things. So we are encumbered. behind here uh well yeah we did from we got that from the other side okay let's head over into this building no red dots
check this. Nice. It's a pretty decent loot for trash. Okay, this is a larger stairwell. Anything to loot in here? We have one cabinet. We'll take those things. Um, I guess we'll pick up the bone for the moment, but I might chuck it. I know I have those back at the bike. Nothing out there. Check the toilet. And that's it. Okay, so I guess we go up. Or down. Um, let's go down first. There's a weapons bag. I'll block that temporarily. See what we get here. Oops. I don't know if um, Alpha 21 is more generous with mods or if I'm just so used to playing Undead Legacy, which is very sparse on mods. You know, I did like 170 some odd episodes in that series and I almost never had spare mods to put on stuff to sell, you know, because they were that rare. see what's in here. Nice. Okay, let's poke our head in this room. Oh, this is the end loot. We got, uh, oh shit. Shit. Um, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, let's take uh, let's take one of these. So we took quite a pounding there. All right. So we'll just. Oh crap! I put all my shotgun shells in the mini bike. coming from all right we still have two more red dots and they're both crawlers that's it we did it oh shit screamer Where is she? He's up there. She didn't scream, did she? Okay, I think we're good. Whew. That's the first screamer we've seen, you guys, in this series. That is the first screamer. Oh, scary. All right. Come around back here. Yeah, I, I uh, <coughs> accidentally put my um, shotgun shells in there. Let's drink this to save ourselves a spot. And... Um, Well, let's just see what we can what we can get with this. 
All right, ammo pile. Very nice. Medical pile. Nice. We can now make the big first aid kit. That is fan friggin' tastic. Cement. Um, okay, let's do the cash next. Look at all that beautiful ammo in there. And we're already freaking out of space. All right, let me see if I can make a little bit more room. Of course, you know, we're not that far away from the house, though, so if we had to, we could uh, make some changes. All right, let's grab the rest of what's in here. And then finally, the main loot. Okay, we'll take that. And I'm going to... Oh boy, two cornmeal is just not that big a deal. Let's see if we can actually put this on one of our things of armor. We can't put it on that. We should be able to put it on here. Great, so that adds one more point to our armor. And we'll take the iron and leave the cornmeal, I think. Oh, no, here, do this. There, now we can take the cornmeal too. All right, we got it all. Fantastic, I'll meet you guys back at the trader for the turning. Hi, Jen. You again. I'm starting. Here's your pay for a job well done. Okay, so let's see, what do we got here? Um, I think think let's take the magazine bundle nice she has another inf two more infested clears okay so what's We're this always looking for some adventurous soul okay we've already done the scarecrow oh, fields and I think have we done mama pizza I think we have Um, all right, yeah, let's just do this one again Thanks, then. Son. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Okay, we're going to sell this stuff to her. And we are now, we now have two full stacks of Dukes. Uh, you don't reset till day 37. I hope you come back and see me sometime. All right, let's open this up. We got two spears. Okay, one more level of this, and then we can do a, a blue steel spear, which we probably will do. Um, we can make a yellow quality hunting knife, okay. And traps. Very nice. All right, guys. Well, that is it for uh, today's episode. I am going to go back to the base. Just kind of... Mess around a little bit there until the Horde Knight starts, and then we will begin the next episode with Horde Knight 35. Should be fun. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.